It's tier list time! And it's not another Call of Duty one. The first two I've done were Call of Duty based, and this one I came across and I thought it'd be really fun. Because as someone who was born in the late 90s, so I was a, more of a 2000s kid, obviously, I grew up with Ben 10. Not like all the other Ben 10s, but like the original Ben 10. The one that came out in like 2005 that had like the best theme song of any other Ben 10s. And honestly, a lot of other Cooking Network shows. Ben 10's like theme song was, it was fire. It was the best theme song for any of the shows that were out at the time, if I'm being honest. But for this tier list, we're rating all of the Ben 10 aliens. From the original show plus a few others that i don't recognize i do not recognize this one here and i actually think that's the only one i also don't recognize this one down here all these other ones i do recognize now the this isn't just the original 10 there's obviously as you can tell there's more than 10. Um, some of these i do remember when they got added i remember cannonball getting added i do remember the name of the first 10 so i'm gonna call them by name obviously um, this one, I, The Mummy, I do not remember, the first one down here, and I honestly remember the episode for him being kind of creepy, so I really, I think he actually has the power, he has like some sort of like psychic power, so should I rate these based on power or based on how much I like them? Because if we're going on how much I like them, I'm just going to go to like D, but if I'm going to go on based on power, from what I remember, he's got like, I think psychic powers, I'm pretty sure. And Psychic Powers, or at least a B tier. So, he goes in B tier. Next up is this character. I don't know his name. Uh, I do remember when he got added. I don't remember the full episode. Um, honestly, if I don't know the name. Uh, if I don't remember him, I'm honestly... I'm not going to put him down low. Because I still remember him being in the original TV show. And I remember him being pretty useful. So, I'm going to go ahead and put him in C tier. So if you know the names of some of the characters I don't list off, uh, do let me know because honestly, I actually haven't watched the full show in forever. The werewolf down here, uh, I know that being actually a pretty stressful episode because uh, Ben gets attacked. Because he gets the he gets the werewolf, I think, when he gets uh, attacked by the actual werewolf itself and it like scratches the Omnitrix and the Omnitrix gets its like DNA and puts it in the watch. I do remember he does have like that weird thing where his mouth can like open up four ways. Like, it opens up, like, kind of in an X formation. Like, top lip, top lip, bottom lip, bottom lip. Some shit like that. And pretty scary. I'm going to roll with pretty scary. I'm going to put him in B tier with the mummy. Cannonbolt was the first added alien. He was the first one. He was, like, number 11. So, he was the first one added to the Omnitrix after the show started. Cannonbolt, I'm going to go up at A. It doesn't really... I'm... This one, I mean, power-based, he's definitely a little bit lower because all he really does is turn into a, uh, a ball. But, I mean, it's Cannonball. This is, like, the only Ben 10 action figure I still have in my attic somewhere. I don't know where he's at, but I know he's up there. Diamond Head, a lot of people go above him, and I know it's not fair to say it, but Diamond Head was my favorite, so Diamond Head gets to go in S tier. So, Diamond Head, you're just my favorite. I know you got people like... I know you got characters like Forearms, which is badass, but... Diamond Head, my favorite, straight up. Diamond Head goes in S tier, no argument. Now, obviously, if we're going to go on power based, yeah, he goes lower, but this is my tier list, and I'm putting Diamond Head in the S tier. Next up is this character. I'm pretty sure he's aquatic based, I think. Um, No, he can make clones of himself, right? I'm pretty sure he can make clones of himself, and that's really all I know for his power, I think. Because I thought he was water based too. But I might be mistaken. But I do think he does make clones of himself. Because I think I remember seeing an episode where there's like three of him. But I don't. I'm pretty sure it's clones. I'm pretty sure his power is cloning. Again, feel free to correct me in the comments, guys. This is just for fun. So, Ben 10, this alien right here. Again, don't know the name. Let me know what his name is in the comments. I'm going to go ahead and put it in C tier. Because I know he's got, he can clone himself. Pretty cool power. But he doesn't really, uh, I don't really have, uh, many memories of seeing him in the show. This character, I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not going to put in why, because I'm not really asking why this character came in, because honestly, every single Ben 10 alien comes in for some particular reason. So I'm not going to put him in why. I'll put him in E, because I don't know him. I have no memory of him, and I honestly didn't know if he, I don't know if he's actually in the original show, because he might have been in one of the uh, later shows. So I'm going to put him in E tier, be not because he's bad. Actually, I'm going to put him in D tier, because he's not bad. Um, E.T. is going to be for ones that don't really have, like, powers that are good or anything like that. So I'll put him in D tier because I just don't know him. I don't know what his powers are. So I'm not going to rate him at all that 
I'll give him a D. D is going to be kind of that, like, meh. You know, so you have the good, you know, good powers. Don't really know a lot about him. Well, I don't know a lot about him. And then you have the ones that I have memories of, but don't really know anything about him. Know nothing about. And then E T is going to be the ones that I think are just not good. Next up is forearms. Forearms. S tier. He's forearms. It's, I mean, yeah, his power is brute strength. What else do you need? Forms goes in S tier. Ghost Freak, I put in Ghost Freak in S tier. Mainly because of the episode where Ghost Freak finally, like, breaks free of the Omnitrix. That episode was one of the scariest things that, like, you know, seven, eight, nine year old me could have ever watched at the time. Was when Ghost Freak breaks out of the Omnitrix and reviews his true form. He's go, he goes nest here. His power, he's pretty OP. So, this one's based on power, too. Like, he just, he goes in S tier. He, he does. I, I have no argument other than he just, the episode he escaped from the army tricks, absolutely terrifying. Just scary all around. I'm uh, pretty sure he possesses Gwen at one point, too, I think. Which just makes him, like, really fucking OP. Gray Matter, I'll put Gray Matter in B tier. Um, really, his power is being small and being incredibly smart. Now, maybe, maybe, I... I'm kind of, kind of, I'm, I'm kind of not really sure where to put him. I'm gonna put him in B tier because it feels like his intelligence, his intelligence stuff, he does serve him really, really well, and it gets him out of situations. And maybe you would put that about forms. Maybe you put, you put forms in B tier and then gray matter in A t or S tier. I don't know. Gray matter just feels like he goes in B tier for me. Next up is heat blast. I'll put heat blast in A tier. So along with shooting fire, I know he can fly because I think there's some sort of Ben like aims at the ground and shoots the fire out of his hands and he goes flying through the air like Iron Man. So, I definitely think he goes in A tier. He's got some good powers, and using those powers in specific ways, like being able to fly, like to use that as essentially your own repulsors to shoot yourself in the air, definitely, I think, goes in A tier, because you can do a lot with those powers, other than just setting things on fire. Ripjaw, I'm going to put Ripjaw in C tier. I mean, he's essentially just a fish. I, I really... I don't think he has any actual powers besides being able to breathe underwater, which is pretty useful. I don't think there's a lot of episodes where they need to breathe underwater a whole lot. I don't think. So, Ripjaw, I don't really think he's got really any good power. I don't know. Ripjaw just feels like he belongs in C tier. I think he just doesn't match up to anyone above an B, A, or S tier. So, I'll put him in C tier. Stingfly, I'm going to put in C tier again. I mean, he has he's got powers. He can fly, but that's really about it. I mean, his powers, I don't really think, match up again with the B, A, or S tiers at all. So Stinkfly, C tier, he's got some pretty basic powers, so he belongs to C tier. Nothing really use. I mean, I think flying's the most useful one of his powers. Other than that, like, snot rocket shit he shoots out, which is good for stopping people. But I wouldn't count that as, like, a superpower you'd want to have, you know, matched with anyone in the B tier, or the A tier, or the S tier. Like, honestly, I think full arms is brute strength is better than stink flies like snot rocket. This character, I don't remember his name, but I do remember how he can, like, swallow things and spit them out as, like, exploding loogies. Let's see what he calls them. He calls them exploding loogies. I'm putting that in the B tier. Um, he was the alien that got added, I think, right after Cannonbolt. But maybe he was first and the Cannonbolt was second. But I remember him being one of the first few added into the Omnitrix. And that was pretty cool. I mean, I mean he shoots, like, exploding loogies, which... Essentially, Stinkfly shoots Lugies too, but, I mean, his explode. So what can I say? He's, he's got the added benefit of exploding. So I'll put him in B tier. Upgrade definitely is an S tier, because, up, I mean, fuck, uh, Upgrade can literally take over anything mechanical. I think it's shown that Ben is able to stop a lot of people by being Upgrade. So I think Upgrade is definitely one of the top characters in the Omnitrix. As I look at the S tier... I have, you know, full arms, Ghost Freak, and Upgrade up here for legitimate reasons. Diamond Head's really just up here because he's my favorite. So, real, in, all, in all honesty, I should put Diamond Head probably in the B or C tier because he's got basic-ass powers like Rip John, Sting Fly. But he's my favorite, so I gotta leave him up there. Not focusing on Diamond Head, focusing on full arms, Ghost Freak, and Upgrade. I think they all belong in S tier. Next up is this character. I'm putting in D tier again because I don't know him. I have no memory of this character being in the original Ben 10 show, and that's pretty much it for him. Wild Mutt, I'll put Wild Mutt in the C tier. Again, he's got really good hearing. Um, I think he's got a lot of endurance. Obviously, he can, like, claw and do shit like that. He's got pretty basic powers. Putting him in C tier, that's pretty much it for Wild Mutt. He just goes in the C tier. This character, remember, I know, 
Um, I'm gonna put him in A tier because I mean he can he's basically the Ben 10 version of Poison Ivy. He can control plants. Plus he's got those like things on his shoulders that shoot like exploding seeds. So definitely I feel like he belongs in B tier. He's got some better powers essentially that I mean the powers that would help. But I feel like they're more so just B tier powers. So some of these characters I do not remember. So I'm going to have to look up or let me know in the comments the names of the characters I did not see the names for. Because I just can't remember them and I do apologize for that. And the very last one is upgrade. Upgrade goes nest tier. Upgrade is fast as shit. Now that's his only power. He's fast. But he's fast. A lot You can do a lot of things when you're fast. You can actually save a lot of people when you're fast. So he goes in S tier. I mean his super speed is for sure a power that i think a lot of people would want to have i think it does belong in the s tier now this tier list i feel like maybe a little kind of lopsided because some characters i put in tier lists with reasoning that was like oh they're my favorite like diamond head and some of them were down lower like maybe you thought wild much should be higher or you thought heat blast should be lower or vice versa. like yeah i mean for sure diamond head does belong lower if i'm using my reasoning for just basic powers diamond head can make basically just make swords and shoot crystals and stuff like that doesn't really have really exceptional powers um forearms kind of the same thing he just has brute strength he would definitely go down and maybe the c tier but they're definitely some more of my favorites and i'm putting them up in the s tier because they are my favorite they're not my favorite characters but ghost freak upgrade and accelerate i think do belong in s with their powers now let me know what you guys think obviously you don't have to agree with this list you can agree with it you can change things up that's all on you this is just my tier list of ben 10 aliens these two down here i honestly have no memory and i have no knowledge of who they are so feel free to let me know who they are in the comment section but hopefully you guys enjoyed this tier list i'm trying to get into making more of these tier list videos because they're fun but i'll see you later in a brand new one have a good day thanks so much for watching and as always stay awesome everybody